Today I went. Do you have a boyfriend or girlfriend? 为什么呢？我怕大家说我太 woke， 所以我问了一些别人，看看他们怎么说。Do you think it's okay to ask someone? Do you have a boyfriend or girlfriend? No, because I'm single. Because I'm single. 别问，问多是没用。It's in inappropriate. I would do it in a less direct manner. If someone asks, "Do you have a boyfriend or girlfriend?" Do you think they might have a hidden meaning or anything like that? Hidden meaning, I want to hit you. It depends on their age. So like the older people, they're just curious. You know that. Well, you never know. <laughs> I would think that they were leading up to ask me out on a date. You do need to be careful. Maybe him bit seem a bit suggestive. I think asking a guy, "Do you have a girlfriend?" or vice versa. You know, it assumes that like they're straight. Assumes that they're straight. He gay. He gay. Or their partner's a particular gender. So personally, I'd be a bit worried it might offend someone. I've never thought about it. I think I may have offended some people. Yeah. Yeah. In the UK, gender-neutral approach. It's definitely a, a huge change in language as well. Really. I saw that. 对，语言一直在变。And what was acceptable language in the past may not be now. 时代在召唤。如果你只是单纯的想知道对方有没有谈恋爱，该怎么问呢 ？Is there anyone in your life? Do you have a special friend that you like to spend time with? <laughs> special friend. To me, I guess that sounds maybe a bit like friends with benefits. <laughs> I think it's maybe more appropriate to ask someone if they have a partner. That's how I generally would approach it. We usually say, "Do you have a significant other?" Because sometimes people are not married, so we don't want to embarrass them. 对 ，it's best not to make assumptions. 有一句话是 assume makes an ass out of you and me. 这里的 ass 不是屁股，是傻瓜。So if you incorrectly assume something, you'll look like an idiot. 那可以直接问 ，Are you married, man? No, it's not a question I tend to ask. It's assumptive. Some people can take offence、uh, if you see someone who has children. To ask that could be seen as if you're assuming that they have to be. That has definitely changed in the UK. Personally, it is a bit of a direct question. I find it quite a funny question. I mean, I'm 21. I'm 21. Marriage is not something I will consider for a long time. 我发现了大家经常问我有没有女朋友。男朋友 ，I'm actually 等我十万粉丝的 Q&A 视频剪出来了，你就知道了。啊，不好意思，英国人的效率太低了。那如果真的有感兴趣的人的话，用土耳其话搭讪会怎么样呢？肯定不好吧。<笑>不过没事，听一听吧。有你喜欢的图形的话，记得在弹幕打个靠谱。Did you just fart? Because you completely just blew me away. I think if a guy said that to me, I'd be like,、mm, have a nice time, bye. <laughs> I've not had a a real one used on me. Likewise, can I have your picture so I can show Santa what I want for Christmas? Yeah, it, it makes a little bit of sick come up in the mouth, doesn't <laughs> it? You know. <laughs> Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only tin I see. <laughs> You look quite healthy. Do you like vegetables by any chance? Because I love you from my head to my toes. <laughs> to my、oh, wow. toes. Do you get it? Oh wow. Are you from China? Because I'm trying to get your number. Ooh, I like that one. <laughs> you can't spell quarantine without you are a cutie. Oh, I like that. Even during the pandemic, the most contagious thing is your smile. 声明：这些是我在网上找的，我没那么恶心。I promise. So if you liked any of these tour 情话 give this video a like. 如果你还知道别的 tour 情话的话，在评论区告诉我吧，我来打分儿。记得点赞关注哟。